Hello everybody. Today we're going to find the limit, the limit as x approaches infinity uh, as x approaches 2 of x squared plus x minus 6 over x minus 2. Now, we cannot use direct substitution because if we plug in 2 for x, we're going to get 2 minus 2 which is 0 in the denominator. So we cannot do that. So what we try to do here is we let's try to see if we can factor the numerator. If you notice, it is factorable. x squared plus x minus 6, that gives us x minus 2 times x plus 3. So, yes, so negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, and negative 2x plus 3x, that gives me positive x. And that's what we have in the middle term, and x times x is, of course, x squared. So a li little bit of algebra review. And now the x minus 2 and the x minus 2 cancels out, and what we get is the limit as x approaches 2, x plus 3. So now you can go ahead, plug in 2 for x, so you get 2 plus 3, which is 5. So we just found the limit of x squared plus x minus 6 over x minus 2. Uh, in this case, um, I think you could have used also L'Hopital rule because if you plug in 2 in the numerator and the denominator, you're going to get here 2 squared plus 2, which is 6. 2 squared 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So you have uh, a type of 0 over 0. So L'Hopital rule uh, applies. So you could, have, you could use L'Hopital rule. So if you recall... Uh, uh, we use L'Hopital rule, uh, we take the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of the numerator is 2x plus 1 over the derivative of the denominator, which is 1. And we just use L'Hopital rule here, h for L'Hopital. And this is the same as the limit of 2x plus 1 as x approaches 2. And that will give us, you can go ahead and plug in 2 for x, we get 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, that's 5. And that's the same answer. So I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.